Good morning. Time for morning prayer and a bit of scripture. Grounding in the Word of God to start our day and then prayer, connecting with our Lord. Romans 12, 1 and 2. I beseech you, therefore, brethren, by the mercies of God, that you present your bodies a living sacrifice, holy, acceptable to God, to God, which is your reasonable service. And do not be conformed to this world, but be transformed by the renewing of your mind that you may prove what is that good and acceptable and perfect will of God. So, we are told by the Holy Spirit through Paul to present our bodies a living sacrifice. And we are not to be conformed to this world and its systems and its everything. Sacrifice is made at the altar where we give ourselves to Jesus, holding nothing back. In Luke 9.23, Then he, Jesus, said to them all, If anyone desires to come after me, let him deny himself, take up his cross daily, and follow me. But we're not big on denying self. In fact, many Christians want a relationship with Jesus about halfway between the altar of sacrifice and the world. They want to enjoy all the pleasures of, that this world has to offer and at the same time, all the blessings and benefits God has to offer. But that's impossible because Jesus said in Matthew 6, 24, no one can serve two masters for either, either he will hate the one and love the other or else he will be loyal to the one and despise the other. You can't live in, in conformity to the world's morality and way of thinking and give yourself to God, completely to God as a living sacrifice at the same time. James 1.8 Their loyalty is divided between God and the world and they are unstable in everything they do. So here's my challenge. Allow God to gain more and more of you until he has all of you. John Baptist said it like this. He must increase and I must decrease. First John or First Thessalonians two twelve, that you may walk worthy of God who calls you into his own kingdom and glory. Let's pray. Father, your kingdom come, your will be done on earth in me, as it is in heaven. Lord Jesus, you have every right to me. You redeemed me, you ransomed me, purchased my freedom on the cross, paid my debt. And I want to give myself to you. Live your life through me, Jesus. I offer myself to you totally and without conditions. I'm grateful for the privilege of being adopted into your family, the family of God. And Lord, I want to be a part of those who live only for you and your kingdom. A transformed people, a surrendered people, a cross-bearing people, yet alive in you. Jesus, a people who are wholly yours, a people who live for you and by you and to you. Lord Jesus, let there be no gap between where I am and where you are working. Deepen your work in me. Allow me to see something higher than I have ever seen before. For your kingdom and for your glory, in the name of the one who is coming soon, Jesus Christ. Amen.